Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, you are going to learn how to run state-of-the-art object tracking algorithm deep sort using YOLO v4. So let's get started. Okay, so this repository gives you ability to track specific classes. For example, we are just tracking persons in this particular video or we can just track dog or we can track both dog and persons. So I'm gonna explain that in a bit, but first you need to clone this repository. And there are two ways to do that. First is easier one. You can just download this zip file and extract that, or you can copy this link and fire up Anaconda prompt. Head over to the directory that you are going to use for this particular project. Type git clone and paste this link hit enter and you will have this folder next what you want to do is that you have to set up the environment and you can do that using anaconda or pip so i'm gonna use conda because that's more convenient so just copy uh, this command if you have GPU or copy this command if you do not have GPU and you want to run tracking on CPU only. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this command and paste it in Anaconda prompt. It's going to create the environment called TF-GPU. Here we have it. And I'm going to activate this environment by copying this command. And if you are on Mac, you can use this command and this command works for Windows or Linux. So we have activated it and here it is TF-GPU. So if you are using PIP, you will have to install CUDA and CUDEN in your system and Conda takes care of that automatically. But if you are using PIP, you will have to do it manually. You can find the tutorial for Windows on this link. Once you have your environment up and running, you will have to download YOLO v4.weights or YOLO v4tiny.weights files. You can use these links to download both files. I already have these files, so I'm gonna just copy those and paste it inside data folder. There we have it. Okay, so next let's head over to our repository. You will have to convert darknet style YOLO v4 weights to TensorFlow style weights or TensorFlow model. You can use this command for YOLO v4 and this command for YOLO v4 tiny. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this command and paste it in our Anaconda prompt. This is gonna take a while. I'll get back to you when that is done. Okay, it will print this message that assets are written to this directory and if we go to that directory in checkpoints here we have this tensorflow model and next what we want to do is that we also want to convert yolo v4 tiny to tensorflow so copy this command and paste it inside anaconda prompt okay the process is complete and YOLO tiny weights are also written in checkpoints folder. So let's verify that. Here we have it. So it's just 2 MB and the original weights were 10 MB. Okay, so what's next? Next, we want to run tracking. And to run tracking on video, we can issue this command. I'm going to quickly explain this command to you. So we are running tracker underscore objects.py file and we are assigning weights path to it. And this score is basically the threshold of class label. So any class label that has a confidence score lower than this value would be discarded. And this is the video file that we want to use in our tracking. And at the end, the output would be saved inside results directory. So just copy this command and run it in Anaconda prompt. So here we have it, the results. It's tracking persons and dog. And for each unique person, it is assigning a particular number to that person. And 
a number is also assigned to dog. So by default, this script tracks only persons and dogs. And if you want to track other objects as well, I'm going to show you in a bit how you can do that. Okay, the process is finished and we have achieved FPS of 7.74 on this particular video. So let's go ahead and find this video. It's inside results folder. We can just check it and everything is running at normal speed. Okay, so how you can use tiny version of Yolo v4 for object tracking, you can issue this command. And if you want to use on webcams, you can issue this command for original YOLO v4 and this one for tiny YOLO v4. So I'm gonna go ahead and use tiny version on same video and let's see what FPS do we achieve. Copy that and paste it here. We can see that it's much faster than original YOLO v4. And we got 15.8 FPS, which is double than original YOLO v4. Okay, so how you can run tracking on other classes other than dog and person. So let's go to our directory. And if we go to data and then classes, we can find two files here, coco.names and tracking.names. Coco.names file have object names for all the classes on which the YOLO v4 was trained and these are 80 classes so if you want to track a particular class you just need to edit this tracking.names file and copy object name from coco.names file and just paste it inside tracking.names file so by default it has person and dog so these two objects were being tracked so if you just want to track, let's say dog, just remove the person and make sure that it's on first line and save it. And let's run same command again. And there you have it. Only dog is being tracked. Okay, with single class tracking, FPS is also improved from 15 to 20. And of course, if you want to track all the classes, just copy all the names from here and paste here. But we don't want to do that because that is computationally very expensive. At the end, I would like to acknowledge the original authors of this repository, the author for YOLO v4 TensorFlow, the author for DeepSort, and the AI guy who put everything together in a single GitHub repository. And I will see you in next one.